Hi, I'm Steve Saylor, I'm blind, and if you're wondering how I'm able to play video games if I'm blind, if you take a look at the video here, and you'll see exactly what I see when I'm playing video games. Yes, as the title of this video suggests, today I'm going to be playing Cuphead with an assist mode. Now you may have a ton of questions that you have already of the who, what, when, where, and why of the how this is even possible, or where is it even possible, when is it even possible. I don't, like, I'm gonna try to answer as best as I can and as quickly as I can. So if you please bear with me for a few minutes as I try to explain this, then I'll get into the actual gameplay of how this whole assist mode works. So I found out about this assist mode through an article on Dual Shockers written by Ben Bayless, and it was a mod that was created for the Steam version of Cuphead that tweaked a few settings within the game that removed some of the barriers and added a few little accessibility options within the game that opens up uh, uh, players to be able to play the game and enjoy the game a little bit better. Now, you may be wondering, well, Cuphead, why does it need something to be able to tweak the settings for its difficulty? Um, and I have to basically preface by adding a little bit of a personal story to this. Now, I wanted to play Cuphead originally when it came out. I saw the trailer for it. I love the art style. I love like its sort of format of like the 1930s cartoons. For me, Popeye was a huge uh, influence for me growing up. The original cartoons, even the original Disney cartoons were a huge thing for me. And I just love that style. And I love that it was a studio, even an independent Canadian studio that was developing this kind of game. And uh, when it came out, it had so many accolades of how good the game was. Um, and how amazingly uh, it was, and it won several Game of the Year awards. But when I heard about how difficult the game was uh, to be able to not only play, but to be able to even beat, like it was sort of like a badge of pride to be able to com like complete this game of how because of how difficult it was. It's similar kind of like how uh, people are uh, have a uh, have a badge of pride when they play B Bloodborne or Sekiro or any of the Souls type games that you uh, that uh, from software is normally known for for creating difficult games. Now, again, I'm not knocking Cuphead or Studio MDHR for creating this preset difficulty and not allowing accessibility options into this game and making it difficult on purpose uh, and eliminating the uh, allowing some players to be able to play this game. I'm not knocking them in any way, shape, or form. I'm merely uh, showcasing a possibility of what uh, an accessibility can add into the game itself. So another question you may be wondering is, what is an assist mode? Well, if you remember a game a couple years ago by the name of Celeste, uh, it was a game that actually was uh, had an amazing sort of art style, had amazing gameplay, had a cool platformer, had an amazing story, also won several Game of the Year awards similar to Cuphead. But one of the accolades it had for it was it created a, a mode called an assist mode, where by tweaking a few options within the game, made uh, the game uh, le have less barriers and added some accessibility options that would allow disabled gamers and those who wanted a stressless Free, a free or stress-free environment to be able to play a game and enjoy the game for many different reasons and was praised for um, its tackling of accessibility within the game. Now what this mod had done was that it also tweaked a few settings that uh, added a few little accessibility options within the game. Not something you can sort of tweak within the game itself. You actually have to mod the game and change uh, the a certain file in order for it to be able to play. But what it did was increased your health points from three to six it increased your uh, damage done to enemies, either a 1.5 times scale or even up to a two times scale uh, for further on down the line when you're going up against more difficult bosses. And it also gives you the ability to have 40 coins at the very beginning of the game, allowing you to be able to go to the store to be able to purchase a bunch of different options and a bunch of different weapons and tonics and stuff like that that can actually eliminate some of the barriers that people may have had when they first jumped into the game for the very first time. So I was very interested to see this uh, modded action. So today I'm playing it on PC, I'm playing it on Steam. I'm actually playing it with an Xbox controller today. So that uh, that's what I'm more comfortable with than uh, playing it on uh, mouse and keyboard. And also as well today, so I'm gonna be playing it as the default version of the game with uh, the original three lives, with only three coins at the beginning of the game. And I'm gonna try it out, see how far I get. And then I'm gonna turn on assist mode and see how far I get, if it, it helps, if it allows me to get pretty further into the game, I don't know. I'm interested to give it a try. So with, with long description aside, I apologize if, for if you got this far. Let, let's just jump right into it and let's see what happens. Uh, let's go to the shop, see if I can get anything. 
Pork Rinds Emporium. Enter. <laughs> so I've got four coins spread. It's, uh, shoot range. Short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Short range with great damage. Yeah, let's 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 buy this. If you got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. Okay. Uh, Alright, so shot B. Short range, good damage if you can keep close to your target. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, let's go in. Do I do simple or regular? So I'm gonna do... S I'm gonna do regular. Um, just to see what it's at at, at, at this particular level. See how well I do. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. I missed. Ah, oh, I died. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to retry again. <laughs> dang it, dang it. Okay, I got, I got it once. <laughs> He's cr uh oh, I died. Ah, dang it. Oops, 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 oops. Ugh. Dang it. Ah. Oh, I died. Ah. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Let me try. Let me try again. I can do this. I can do this. It's hard. Oh, it's hard because I'm essentially having to jump and fire at the same time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I got him. I got him. Crap! I only got one LV left. Oh no! Oh, okay, I got him. Oh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh! Shoot! Uh. Oh no. Oh no! Dang it! Oh. So close! So close! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oops. No! No, no, no! Okay, I got him. Okay, I got him. Alright, I just gotta. Oops, I'm. Dang it. How did. Oh! Mm. Mm. No, 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 no. Ah! It's hard to fire and jump at the same time. Okay, just stay away from the from the drops. Ah! Ah, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. I, 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 I got this. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I figured out the pattern. Oh no. How did I only get like one health point? Let me just switch over the weapons. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh no! Why? Why? Dang it. Oh, come on! <sighs> alright, alright, I got, I, got, I got three. No, no. <sighs> I got three! I got three! Three hit points! Okay, okay, okay! Uh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Okay, I've only got like one hit point left. I'm gonna switch over to this guy. Oh no, oh no, get up, get up! Oh, come on! Seriously! Ah! Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. I can't jump fast. Oh, I got three! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's this guy that I don't know what to do. No! Okay, alright, alright, alright. I'm switching over to this guy again. Okay, come on. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, no! Go on! Son of a bee with an axe! Ah! 
I can't seem to figure out the pattern. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, no. No, now I'm down to one health. Ah. Uh, okay, just keep an eye on the top. No, oh, I'm not fast enough. No! Oh, I shouldn't have moved! Duh, I was so close! Oh shoot! Ah, oh, dang it! No! Oh, I got it! Oh, I got it! I can't figure this out! I seriously cannot figure this out! I'm not putting this on for the camera! I seriously can't seem to like, get move fast enough! Uh... Alright, I'm gonna keep retrying. Here we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> just gonna keep firing, keep firing, and just keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on the top for the for the drops. Oh, why right there? Why right there? Oh, come on! I thought I figured out the pattern. I oh, got it. I thought I had a little bit of extra. Oh crap, no, I didn't see that carrot! I didn't see the carrot! Ah! I didn't see the carrot! God dang it! Ah, this is frustrating! Ah! Ugh, man, come on. Okay, so... Uh, according to the mod, I have to create a brand new save, which is fine. Uh, so let's do that. New, here we go. Okay, good. All right, so I've got uh, HP 6, which is great. And I have 40 coins. Let's enter the store and see what I can be able to get. Uh, P-Sugar automatic parry. The first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Oh, okay, I like that. Oh, okay, so first I'm, I'm going to add that. Um... I'm gonna use that. Hey, I'm gonna go back into regular. Let's see how I do. Cool, and I've got six HP. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Yes, I got him. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, I can definitely tell there's already it's already faster because of the, uh, the additional 1.5 times uh, attack damage, which is great. Uh-oh, shoot. Nope. Yes! See, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. So let's uh, switch over to this. Ha 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 Okay, ooh, 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 come on. Dang it, okay, shoot. Ah. Oh shoot, no, 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 ah, I missed it. Oh, dang it! Oh, I died! But I got so close! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I, can, I got this, I got, I got this now. I'm still, uh oh, still learning it. That's why I was trying out a few things. Okay, jump and jump. Yes! Okay, cool. See? Done it in two rounds instead of three, which is great. Yes! I still have all my HP! Woohoo! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Oh, shoot. Okay, come on, come on. I've got this now. I've got this now. Ooh. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, sh- Yes! Yes! It does work! It does work! Woohoohoo! Oh. All right, B minus. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes! Ha ha ha! Woo! Yeah, boy! Soul contract, the root pack. Yes, you got the root pack soul contract. Woohoohoo! Oh, man. 
Betsy, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it would work. I knew it would work. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. I am so happy that this worked. Ah, uh, this, this, ah. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am for this and uh, for me to be able to even try to keep playing. Uh, uh, this, is, this is so exciting. Uh, now, I have to say, there are two, there is one main reason why I created this video. Um, and two of the reasons what was was not my intention was a I am not bashing studio MDHR for not adding accessibility into the game Would have I have loved to have had accessibility options in this game or the ability to be able to change a little bit of the difficulty? Sure 100% would have been 100% on board for that and I'm not knocking the developers for not adding it um, There could have been so many other conversations that the studio had had internally um, or externally about what to be able to add into the game to be able to make it uh, available for a wider audience. And I know their intention was to, for people to play this game, like play this game as much or as as many people as possible. Um, but I, so I don't, but I don't know the conversations they've had in regards to accessibility for this game when the game came out. I also do know, and it's not my intention to kind of reopen the the uh, the conversation of Sekiro of last year with a preset difficulty and easy mode, which I prefer technically call an equality mode. And I know this is going to probably open up a few old wounds for me by even putting out this video. My sole intention for creating this video and trying this out was A, I wanted to play Cuphead and this mod allowed me to do so. And B, I wanted to showcase how amazing an experience a video game can be when there are accessibility options added into it, the game. Would have I liked to have made a tweak this a little bit more um, and had a few more options available to me to make it uh, even uh, remove some more barriers for me to play? Sure, 100%. But by tweaking just the, the three options it had, health points, coins and uh, attack multipliers, by changing those three things, it made this game more accessible for me to be able to play. And it might actually open up this game to more other disabled gamers. And that's really it. I could add a little bit more, but it all comes down to that basic fact is that I want to be able to showcase how amazing accessibility can be. And I hope that that happened uh, for you by watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments down below or you can be able to hit me up on Twitter at Steve Saylor and continue the conversation that way. I'm more than willing to answer or any questions that you may have. Um, if you want to be able to like, if you like this video, uh, click the like button uh, or smash it as you may be inclined to do so. Uh, I would appreciate it because it helps sort of people to be able to get to uh, see the video uh, and, more, and increases the YouTube algorithm as it were. If you want to be able to check out new videos as they come out, you can be able to click the subscribe button or if you want to be notified when those videos come out, click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and I'll see you next time for in the next video. Thank you so much. As always, I remain obediently yours. Bye.